See, I always get nervous. Hey. Don't okay, it says I'm live. There's Tammy. There they come. Okay, so at least we're a little live. We're a little live. At least we're live. Hello, everybody. Hello. Bet you they all thought we weren't going to do Fancy Friday today. <laughs> Bet you we didn't. What do they know? A dedication. <laughs> It is the dedication. <laughs> it is the dedication. Can I have your glasses? Looky, everybody. This is Misty's glasses. Of course they are. Actually, I shouldn't even have said whose glasses they are. I should have said <laughs> whose glasses are those. And you even got three. Look at she's has three pink ones right there, big ones. Yep. Those, oh, they're all over. Mm -hmm. They are very cute. Thank you. Are they prescription glasses? No, they're just readers. Oh. Well, you look very, you look darling. Thank you. It is so misty. <laughs> so this is, the, well, we'll wait like 30 more seconds. And then we will begin with our little project. And hopefully everyone got them on time. I think it's a cool project, too. If people end up liking this project, we will, we can do another Fanster Friday where we do, you know, three different themes. And we could build it all out together. Hershey's in the house. I see that Dub Fisher's petting cats. <laughs> <laughs> I love Hi, that. <laughs> okay, so we'll get to start. Doesn't look like we have a lot of people on right now, but maybe they'll come on. Has anyone seen Justine on yet? Nope, I haven't seen well, her. I'm not friends with her. I guess I wouldn't know. I know. I think you'd see the names come up, don't you? I'm not friends with all she these people. Yeah, you should. Yeah. So we're back to the old time, guys, where it's just me, the hands, the hands of the project, because we are in Florida right now. Deb Fisher was petting bacon a second ago. Oh, petting bacon? Oh, I guess that's the name of her cat. But... I hope. <laughs> Either that or she lost her mind. So who we have here, we have, oh, look, Linda Crithers is going to start hello from Virginia since we got her. She's in the house. She's going to start hello from Virginia. Exactly. I think everyone should get their own. Everyone needs to get their own tagline, I think. Sure. She says she's here, Jenny. Oh, she, uh, did she really say uh -huh. Jenny? I'm then here, she's Jenny. here. Yeah, everyone needs their own tagline. So I think, I think that's what fansters should work on is their own tagline. So anyhow, we are in Florida. We are in Tampa. We got off the boat yesterday. We, just I know, it feels like a <laughs> month and a half ago. It really, it really does. We got off the boat yesterday. Um, and it was fantastic. Misty did a hell of a job. And for those of you who missed it, I'm going to tell you, we're going to do it again next year. Hopefully get a better room. If you were remotely interested, you have to get on this, on the Bling Cruise because it was just absolutely fantastic. Everything about it was fantastic. Um, it was a blast. Um, and so now we are, we set up for today with setup day for some, uh, Stamp Fest, tomorrow's the show, and then we're going to start heading home. So, in the room, Robbie decided to go to bed, which is fine. We have Peggy and we have Misty here, so if you hear other voices, they're Peggy and Misty, and they're kind of monitoring the comments, too. So, if you're new to us, which some of you are, I'm Jennifer, you'll get to know Peggy and Misty if you don't know them in the near future, but you just want people to see them now because we're in a hotel room. So, this is the project that we're making. So, we're making a little, I don't know what you want to call it. A decoration for your table and let me tell you why we're doing this we're doing this because these guys are discontinued from Advantis so we got a very 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 good price on these if you go on um, eBay or Amazon you're still gonna get these from anywhere between $15 and $20 um, we got a good price on them so we bought out all their black so we have all their black um, and we just thought it would a fun kind of thing to do and you could sit right on your table and do whatever so we're gonna make the inside we're gonna make the outside um, in this right here, we're going to slap this on. So it's just really a decoration. So let me first um, talk about when you opened up your kits, 
when you open up your kit, you had inside of this, this mirrored um, glass image. This doesn't come with that. We actually opened up every box and put this in there for um, safe traveling. So if you were to buy any more of extra of these, like off of eBay or something or Amazon, know that this doesn't come in that. Okay, we just put that in there. But I also want to call your attention out to this because some of you will, may jump the gun, and I don't want you to jump the gun, but if you do, this is self-adhesive and it's going to go around here just like this but this is too big for this so don't just take this out and slap this on here okay wait till i get this part because this is way too big for this you can just tell if i turn it this way and i just thought that was perfect because it shines and it's glass so we'll do that later maybe we'll do that in between um projects but what you what we're going to do is you can take this off this is going to fall off right here okay and push this bottom out Okay, so that bottom comes out, so we have this bottom like this, we have this like this, and then we have, you know, that, okay? So I just want those two pieces, although we're going to first start cutting. Actually, we should do, what? <laughs> Destruction. Oh. Destruction everywhere. Actually, maybe we should do, let's do the inside first. And I say that because there is no reason for me to say that. Let's do the outside, we'll do the outside. Since I still told you guys the outside, that's just your start cutting. So put those pieces to the side, and the outside is going to be this piece right here. Now, oh, that's what I'm gonna show you. So this comes off, this is on a magnet, and this inside comes off too. So if I were to push this through, look up, if I were to push this through, and I don't wanna pull it through like that, look, that's a magnet. So we could interchange that as you need to, and then of course, interchange this as you need to for colors, different medallions, what, what have you. And if you guys see a question in any of that, can you just kind of flag me or don't answer, maybe ask the question and then it then flag me. Um, okay, so let's get out the one that is folded in. Well, I guess they're all folded in the same thing. So let's take out your pieces. And I want you to take out all your pieces that are not black and grays. I want the colorful pieces. So take out all your colorful pieces. Don't worry about that. Sandra loves this project. Good. You guys really did like the project. The only thing I feel bad is I feel bad that we're doing this because it's so much better when we're in the studio. Um, but, I mean, this will do, won't it? I mean, it looks okay, doesn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. No, it's not fantastic, but it, it'll do. Right? It'll do. Yes. Right. Okay, so I would say let's take the colored small ones and put those to the side because I get, you know the insides are going to be the insides. And then you have these big ones right here. And let's line these big ones up. And I always get nervous right now. Let me see something. So we have... We do have enough. Okay, so... What we need to do is we need to cut out, I want everyone to look up and, and understand this first. We need to cut out this whole image twice. So I have the entire image, if you look sideways, I have the entire image twice right there. We need it twice because we need to put the magnets so that they're not showing. We need to tuck the magnets in some place. So we're going to do that um, the whole thing twice. Now, I, we're using the ombre paper, so I don't care which colors you pick. But what I would say is you have, I want you to pick out two that look green. And if you look at them and say, well, that doesn't look green, like this doesn't look green to me, this looks yellow, you should have two that sort of look green. And there's going to be green within them too. So just look at, find two that look green. That's what I need to know. And, or that's what I need you to find. And once you find the two that are green, let's just go ahead and cut those out. And I want the whole images on these. Steven Ziegler is here. Oh, hi, Steven Ziegler. I cannot believe he has been in Iceland now for a year. If you would have said, Jennifer, I'll give you $100, how long has Steven been in Iceland? I swear to God, I would have said six months. Because it feels like six months. It does not feel like a year at all. And I'm sure he feels the same way, too. Time just flies. It just, I mean, like, I cannot believe it's the start of the 2024 season. It's seriously, can you? It's no. just ridiculous. I feel like I blinked. Yep. Just, although, and truly, and it feels like you've been a part of our, our show season for like eight years right now. Right. And it's really been one one very long year. Although, setting up today, I had a hard time remembering some things. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Like? Um, does this go here? Did that go there? Product-wise? Well, yeah, just, 
and, and I know it's a little different this time, but it was just like, hold on a second, I need to. Get yeah, my it's just around. a one day show. That is it. So instead of our well, last year we had a ten by sixty booth. So instead of a ten by sixty booth, we we got a ten by thirty booth. So we didn't bring art anthology. Um, and you know, this year it's going to be new spellbinders. We didn't bring spellbinders, so it's just stamp listic, and we had a not cram because I think it fits nicely. It does. But we're not going to have a party inside the booth because um, you know there's not that much room. It just wasn't our usual. Thing. Right. But it was much easier to set up a thirty foot booth than a sixty foot booth. Mm hmm. It went much faster. I know. Yes. Um, so I was going someplace with that story. See things I've learned in six months. Yeah. I was done with that. Oh, I have no idea. Belinda Waters is keeping oh. from her camper. Oh, that's fun. Or crafting. I from her right, camper. I got it. Normally you would. Yeah, but she's also camping from her camper. Yes. Um so this is the deal. Jill and Donna have already started the process even before we rolled it out. So Jill and Donna found the trailer, which wasn't hidden, but it is very exciting, exciting when you see it. Um, so we're going to start a thing, and I don't have them done yet, but we'll probably have them, I'd say, within three, and four, three to four weeks. Throughout this year, if you spot our trailer, whether you're at a show, any place, and you take a picture of it and post it on our fan page, you're going to get a special... A special, what is a how do you say it? Collector's pin. Oh yeah, but I was looking for that. Oh, what I can't say it. It we can call it a collector's pin. What's the pin? Come on, guys. It's a um. It starts with a C. Somebody, somebody, help me. Collect a cor. Oh, I can't say it. It starts with a C though. All I can think of is enamel pin. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not enamel. It's a um, cor commemorative. I can't say it. I can't. Commemorative. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. That's the word. Say it one more time. Commemorative. Commemorative pin. So you're going to get a commemorative pin, <laughs> which we're going to call a collector's pin because I can't say. <laughs> See, I can't even say it again. How do you say it? Commemorative. Commemorative. See, I can't say yeah. that. No. Okay. Perfect. Ask me in five more minutes what the commemorative pin is, and I won't be able to say commemorative. <laughs> See, I still can't say commemorative pig. I can't pig. <laughs> I can't say it. It's fine. So anyhow, if you take a picture and post it on our fan page all year long, you are going to get this pin. And actually, we just designed the pin, and the pin looks really, really cool. The commemorative pin. Yep, you got uh, it. Oh, I, I, I really don't, but... Everybody is saying it as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, they knew what I was trying to say. Steven said, hi, everyone. Just figured out how to unmute. I can hear Jennifer now. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah, the pin is going to be kind of cool. Misty, you need to take your picture with the thing. I do. You wait till the pins come in. <laughs> We black outlines all the time? Of course. In fact, we are going to put these two together so we can hide those magnets before we go on. And this is one of our brand new stamps that is now available on the website. Do I have on that color page what the name of the stamp is? Bombastic. 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 At least it was named Chromatative. See, I can't say it. <laughs> Chromatative. I can't say it. Commemorative. Commemorative. There you go. Yeah. Isn't that funny how you lose that? So Justine is not with us. Someone was asking where she was earlier. Yes, Justine's not with us because it's such a lame ass excuse. Yeah. Thanks, Peggy, Pop for agreeing. Was more important than I was. No, she no, that's not the reason. She she was gone for too long in Hawaii, and she was just cruised out, is yeah. what she said. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what a, a spoiled life you lead if you can't go on a cruise because you've been on too many cruises and you're cruised out. I mean, I'm cruised out. That was that wiped me out. Those 
Five nights just. Yeah, but wouldn't you go again? Mm, I would go again. I don't know if I would go again in the next year. But that's what? just me. What? Yeah, what? I'd rather save myself for next year. Um, yeah, and that, that answer is a yes because you have to do it because. No. Right. <laughs> don't know where you're going with that answer, but. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and black outline. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> and she's gonna say, "No, it's because I got my puppy now to watch popcorn." And then she's gonna come in and say, "No, it's because who would have watched your dogs?" Which is all true. Yep, she it's all true. But she's still gonna come. It all would have worked out fine. How many times did she let him drive the other day? I don't know. I, um, Crosby has given Justine licks now. I, I know. I think he's afraid that Justine's going to leave now. <laughs> this is the longest I've been away from Crosolas. Did you black outline already? Go pieces. Oh, Misty, you're so fast. She is. She's already cut her next layer. I don't know what it is. I'm just cutting it out. Got nothing to do with are we going to talk about the cruise and the special um, events? Well, the first evening? I have um, the first evening. The, the overnight. Or was it the second? See, I, without somebody telling me what day it is on the floor, I don't know what day Correct. It is. I have the notes written down. Um, but I was going to show them probably in two weeks where I could actually really show, like, the breakfast menu is one. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I meant the fun time overnight. Uh, that you said <laughs> right. Well, I don't know if I could if I could explain this. So let's talk about the cruise. Sh yeah, the second night. This is I will give you my interpretation of of what happened, and then I will let others give them yeah their interpretation. So on the second on the second night, you know, we wake up. It's eight o'clock in the morning, and I'm drying my hair, and I hear you know go ding ding ding, and here comes the captain on. And the captain starts off by saying, I would like to address the incident that happened at approximately 525 this morning. And all of a sudden I'm thinking, incident? <laughs> what? Like I'm thinking gunman? I'm, what, what is going on right now? So I turn off the hair dryer and now he has my full attention. <laughs> and basically, I mean, he went on and on and on and on. But basically what he said... And hold on, I will hold that thought real quick, because I want to do this. Okay, so I want you to pick out whichever green you want on top. And if you, if for whichever green you want on top, I think should be your darkest green. So pick which one you want, but if you, don't, if you can't pick, I really want your darkest green on there. Okay, that's going to be on the top. So I'm going to put this on top of my darkest green, or I'm going to put this on top of that bottom one. So I know this is going to be my top one, so I'm going to put that to the side. That's going to go in there and put that in the side, to the side. Now, inside one of these little bags, you're going to find seven little magnets. Now, these are not the magnets that we sell because we didn't have enough magnets in our warehouse um, to give everyone the magnets that they need. So you have seven here. I think four is going to be fine. So I want you to put four magnets down. Everyone look up. One, two, three, four. And don't put them way to the end. Kind of put them like, you know, look. One, two, three, four. Okay? And because we're not going to see it, I'm just going to do this. One, two, three, four. And then take one off with my nail and put it right down there. Can you guys see that? Just like that. Take this off with the nail. Take this off, put that there. Hmm? And then put that there. Does it matter? Plus minus, it's just going to stick? Nope, it's going to stick. Oh. Yep, it's going to stick. Yeah. Now, I don't think... You don't need the, that fifth one, but let's go ahead and just put that fifth one on there. Thank you. And I'm just going to put that right here. So go ahead and put that fifth one on. Right in the middle? Yep. Which is going to leave you two for the small guy. Okay? And you don't have to have this here. I just want to make sure that's stuck. Okay, so you have five on there. 
Got it? So now we're going to pop this on top of here. Okay? So I do want to pop this. Now, there's going to be a lot of pop dots in this. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So let me know if you guys need some. I got a okay. So let's go ahead and put your pop dots on. Okay, so back to this 8 o'clock announcement from the captain. Now, he says a bunch of mumbo-jumbo, but this is what I understood. And then you guys could tell your perspective, and then you could explain what he said, too, because I'll get him there. But then, you know, you may be able to explain before. First of all, I don't think this is – this normally does not happen on a cruise ship, correct? Mm -mm. In fact – Total freak accident. This is a – yeah, this is a total freak accident um, on any I – mean, like, this is a freak, 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 freak accident. Now, the boat that we were on was able to take a wind up to 50 nautical knots. miles, right, or 50 knots. So the wind could be, which is very, very windy, it could take 50, what's nautical miles mean? Not, knots, it's, it's just a... It's oh, just so a, knots and nautical miles are the same thing. Okay, so our boat could take up to 50, or 50, 50 knots. At approximately 525... And all I'm going to say is, thank God I didn't wake up, because if I would have woke up, I will talk to you about this. Um, we were The boat was hit by a 90-90 knot of wind that turned the ship at a 45-degree angle and kind of spun the ship. Tilt, as, tilted it. No, tilted it. Tilted it. No, but it's, I think it spun it, too. No. Just tilted it, mm -hmm. tilted the ship at a 45 degree angle. So people who literally were, some people fell out of their beds. <laughs> Misty was laying on her right side. I'll let, I'll let you say, went to her left side. I mean, glasses were falling off of people's counters. I mean, I mean it was crazy. Like, like the whole ship woke up except for me and I think three other people. <laughs> and I'm going to say thank you. Tell me when we're back on. Nope. I'm, I think I'm back on. Tell me when you guys see it. And I'm going to say thank you. There you go. Are, are you on there? Yep. Okay, good. Okay, let me preface this, folks, by saying we are in a hotel, so stay with me. If that goes off again like that, just stay with me. Okay, so stay with me. Don't leave. I see that we only have 19 people there. So let me wait a hot second before people rejoin us. But don't get off. Just stay with me. Um, I see 111 and people are saying, okay, still here watching, see you. Perfect. Denise, we're, we're back, so it's not your first ever class and it's frozen. We're back. Yeah. So again, guys, we're in a hotel. If it goes dark again like that, just stay with us, okay? Stay with us until we get back on. Okay, so anyhow, so it flips the boat. I would have, I, yeah, I would have been, I, God works in mysterious ways. I would have, and, and, and if he wouldn't let me off on the, on the rowboat, mm -hmm. I would have seriously got off somehow. People would have been like, well, where's your staff? I'd be like, I don't know where the hell they are. I don't care. I'm off the boat. It would be like if there was a fire and women and children go first, and the person that runs through knocks everyone over, that would have been me. <laughs> so thank God I didn't wake up. So anyhow, says so boat tips 145 degrees, okay? 100, I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, my God, 145 would be terrible. <laughs> 45 degrees. Um, Peggy, you slept through it too, you said? Yes. Did oh, Bill sleep man. through it? No. Okay. So, Misty, would you like to tell them your experience at 545 that morning? Well, I was laying in bed because I was awake. Hold on. Do our pop dots void the magnets? They do not void magnets. No. Nope, they don't. Okay, go ahead. Elizabeth is asking, do you think the robot would, or lifeboat would have been any better? At that point, no. It was so windy, and there was a thunderstorm, lightning, lightning storm. Oh, yeah, then the lightning storm came after that, yes. And the boat, she was a rockin'. But I was laying in bed, and like Jennifer said, on my right side, and it tilted, and I it rolled me from my right side over to my left side, and I had to hit the wall. <laughs> where my bed was to keep rolling. Now, mind you, Misty has never been on a cruise before, so <laughs> this poor girl is thinking, why am I even on this? <laughs> no, I thought, I'm not going to call my husband as I die. I'm just going to die here in my bed. So 
sorry, and I feel bad because I didn't even tell my roommate that everything was happening. So, <laughs> she was through it. Oh, she slept through it too. Susanna slept through it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I thought mm, maybe I won't ever get on a cruise ship ever again. <laughs> The first morning I learned how to walk down the hallway by ping-ponging back and forth from <laughs> side to side, which is a sensation I never really felt before. And then, you know, going to bed, gently being rocked to bed, woke up. Which is very nice. It's wonderful. That was very nice. It, that part was great. It's being thrown into the side of the ship at 5.30 in the morning. That at means, a 45 degree angle. And, and the toilet brush in our bathroom fell over. Oh yeah, things, um, yes. And the just, wind jammer, a lot of the plates broke in the wind jammer we heard. food on the floor. The food on the morning, floor, yeah. There was like roller skating in there because the floor was so greasy. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was it, great. Yeah, it was kind of funny. Uh -huh. Um so yeah, so <laughs> so that was that. So meanwhile, so at eight or at eight o'clock, as he's making this announcement, I'm thinking, oh, thank I, seriously, they, I would have there, I would have, you would have been gone, done. I would have, <laughs> I I could have possibly jumped over the boat. And I know you think I'm exaggerating, but you don't understand. I mean, and then poor Vicky Silva, this is funny, Vicky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Vicky goodness. Silva is somebody who was on the cruise too. And as we're talking about this the next day, and I'm saying I, I, I was about ready to, if I would have woke up, I would have jumped off, I would have done something, and Vicki Silva that reminds me of something that happened last year, and I'm like, you're right. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me try not to laugh so much because you're not going to understand me. So Vicki Silva then goes on to explain, she goes, and she have to know Vicki, she's very soft-spoken, very sweet, she goes, Oh, I believe you probably would have done that because the year before, her and I were on, well, her and I and a couple of the people, her and I were on a duck boat in Alaska. And I don't know if you've ever seen a duck boat. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen a duck boat before, but a duck boat, it drives on the land. It drives, I thought someone was coming in. It drives on the land. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. We're live. We're live, yeah. So it drives on the land, and then when you get to the water, it goes down and it goes right into the water, and then you know it's a boat, like so. You're, it's a car, and you're on. The, <laughs> it's. A, I think those are fansters, weren't they? I don't think so. Oh, so so they just want to see whatever the laughing is yes, about. They wanted to know. Who so I mean, you're very close to the. You're you're close to the water. You're close to, you know, you're, you're driving on the land with the with the tires, but. <laughs> duck boat last year as it was trying to go up the ramp which is very shallow water it got stuck on the ramp <laughs> and I started to panic because I thought oh my god we're gonna have to jump on this duck boat I thought it was going down and it really was like two feet of water but I was I was, I was so panicked <laughs> I mean, I really was. I go back to this fear of me. You know, I don't like. I don't like being stuck places like claustrophobia. So Vicky Silva very quietly goes, "Oh yeah, you would have done that because I was on the duck boat with you with that incident." <laughs> it really was. It was a bad incident that I obviously took out of my mind. But she brought that back in, and she, you're right. I would have. I mean, it was, and it, in, in hindsight, we think about the duck boat, it was really close to the she water. I mean, the way that I was it. acting was probably very stupid. Well, well, and then my dear darling Susanna turns on the TV and she's like, oh, let's see how far we are. We were in 11,000 feet of right. water. <laughs> well, that was when That's, the boat tipped. Yeah. That was when the boat tipped, and I was like, this is not helping uh, my issues at all. So funny. Oh. So, yeah, so, yeah, and it's funny because that normally doesn't happen. Nope. Nope, so we experienced something new there. Uh, uh, yeah. I'd have been happy with just like a new dessert. Right. <laughs> oh, just boy. Try a new food. Oh, not, my not God. A new weather thing that happens. Oh, boy. I can't even stop laughing. It was, um, yeah, it was it was quite funny. So I guess Linda Kashui said she slept through it, too. Did Robbie sleep through it? I don't know if she I did or not. Remember. I was no, too worried. No, she didn't because she said she'd asked her mom if her mom was okay when um, everything took yes. a left turn. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but we have to give we have to give credit where credit's due because they did write the ship right away. The captain ran up there right away. Like the first mate was in charge. He did it and he was proud of him and it was I mean it was all good. So 
Thank I seriously thank I thank God that night. Please oops sorry. Did you put magnets on the bottom piece? Thank you for um did I put magnets on the bottom piece? Donna, the magnets were there and I just put this on top of there. So now my magnets are sandwiched, sandwiched in between those two pieces. I dropped it. Dropped it. <laughs> this is I just dropped a sheet of paper. I can't pick it up because I'm too heavy. Peggy can't pick it up because she's a little fluffy. There you go. Thanks, Peg. And I'm just here for help. You're you over there, right? Freeze. That's where Justine would yeah, jump down and come back up. Oh, my God. Too funny. Okay. So next one is going to be this guy right here. Um, now, if you have another one that looks green, do you have any one that looks green or do you have just another, another one of this, right? Mm, kind of a yellow. Yes, yellow, that's good. Hold on, that. Green. One, two, three, four. Am I missing one? Am I missing a big one? Yeah, I think I'm missing one. Three greenies and a pink and three pinkies. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. See there, we got that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we know we are missing a piece. <sighs> huh. Okay, we are missing a piece, but we're going to go with this. We're still going to go with this. Um, how do I want to do this? Let's do... Okay, let's do the, the next one that is either green or yellow, okay? Green or yellow, and we're going to go in one. And it doesn't matter that we're missing one. It's still going to be fine. Trust me. It'll be fabulous. So we are going to cut off now. So everyone look up real quick. We are going to cut. I want... Yeah, I think I want that layer separate. Hold on, guys. Let me just figure this out. That one is that. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so let's go in and let's cut out this guy. So I want you to cut off this, but I just I want these. And you can go straight across, and I want this. Go straight across, I want this. Straight across, I want that. Does everyone see that? So here, let me cut. So I'm going to come into here. <clears throat> so I'm just cutting off that outer edge, which is the flowers. So I'm going to curve it, bring this out like this. And then come here. Can you see that? Yes. Yes. We're going to skip that middle pink one. I'm still going to have a layer, but we're going to skip the double layer, which will be fine. So there was another funny incident. That was the end. Well, that wasn't funny. That was scary looking as all anything. Oh, looking back on now, yeah, it was hilarious. But for a quick second, didn't you feel like I want to get off the boat now? <clears throat> no. That that thought wasn't what went through my mind. What was the, what the th what was the I'm thought? Die. Was... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm <laughs> gonna go. It's gonna be Titanic all over again. <laughs> we are gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be that cruise ship. Yeah. That they make a movie about 18 times in the next 20 years. Yes. Oh, no. mm -hmm. and, and my first thought wasn't, oh, I should call my husband and say goodbye to my children. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. We're going to go. Oh, God. Over. I'm going to die. Oh, my God. Okay, let's, uh, when you do this, we're going to black outline this. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> um, well, there was, um. There was another funny incident that actually came from me. I'm sure there's more funny incidents, but people, I think, don't like to tell me stories because they're afraid they're going to go on on Fanster Friday. <laughs> okay, so this is, if you've never been on a cruise ship, um, you know, the buffet's open, you go eat mostly all day. It does close at night. Um, but I didn't realize that you can order room service to come to your room. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize, hold on, because this is even better. Uh, 
I didn't realize that you could order room service the night before to have it delivered to your room. And they charge you $7.95 to have it delivered to your room. But it del you could tell them what time you want delivered right to your room. And I thought, oh, hot darn, this is good. Okay, I'm going to stop right here again. So this one right here, um, and someone just said green. The, the Tammy and Terry, are you guys answering them? Because people are going to have different variations of green. And now this yellow almost looks like that green, but you're going to see a variation difference of that. This one is, so we have a sandwich right here, sandwich right here, and then we have this guy that we just cut off. This is going to be here flat against there, so I want that flat. And trust me, you're going to see, you're going to see that the, uh, it's, uh, it is going to be different. Yeah, this could be my favorite story of all time. <laughs> and thank God it happened to me because I'd feel bad if I was telling this about somebody else. So hold on, we got a, story time is when we're when we're cutting. So hold on. Now, Misty, you said your husband never been on a cruise. Correct. Would uh, would he enjoy a cruise? I think it depends on the cruise. If we're taking the kids with us, it changes things. If I'm, you know, flinging, it would change things. Right. I think he would eventually learn to love it, as long as it didn't tip over. <laughs> and Willie went with Peggy's husband went, and did he like it, Peg? Do you love it or do you like it? I don't know. Does, does Willie love anybody, anything but you? Peggy. He loves Peggy. I, know. I know. He loves Peggy. He loves Peggy. Violet. He loves Violet. He does. I know. You have to watch because they're in the thing. I, I have to switch them out. You may think this is a waste of color, but trust me, it's not. Okay, so that piece is flat. Even though it looks, we got all colors going here. We want that. So the bottom two pop with those um, magnets in them, and then that was flat. Then I want you to pick out. I want you to pick out your darkest whatever that's next. Whether you call this maroon, fuchsia, I want you to pick out the darkest one that you see to be the darkest one, whatever that is. Are you cutting the right layer out of that? I'm not cutting any layers. Oh. Ouch. So on this guy, everyone look up. So this is going to be our next piece. We are going to cut this right here. This right here. And then go around and cut that. <coughs> go around, cut that. Whichever one, Peg, you think is the darkest. So here, let me show you again as I'm cutting. Questions ask. Please ask. <clears throat> Laura Siegel says she got COVID the first time on our October cruise and room service waived all their fees for the five days. Oh, that's nice. Belinda says our, um, our daughter and her best friend discovered room service would deliver at Fruit Loops after finding a bartender that would serve them drinks in their national water. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so everyone see where they're cutting now? So I'm cutting this off, cutting that part off, and that's what you want there. <clears throat> okay, so anyhow, so you can pick out, they have a menu that's laid out there, and I didn't bring it with me. For, for next uh, Fancy Friday, I'll bring it, because I feel like I have to defend myself. Um, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> I'm so confused. Did I screw this up? No, I want to cut that off. Um, put it on here. Okay, so I, you know, you pick a time. It's within the hour, and then you pick out what you want, and they bring it to you. So the menu, and again, if I show you this menu, it is very confusing. I wish I, could, I, I should have brought it down. I didn't want to tell stories, but this is funny. Is Justine still on? Okay, so let me just show you something. So this is kind of what the menu looks like. So it gives you all these options, okay? And like, you know, it says like eggs. So one could be, there's a block like this, and it's scrambled. Is, on still. is she laughing? Scrambled. This, over easy, eggs. Um, what's another block? Um, hard boiled, let's say. Okay, and at the top it says, 
at the top of this menu, this long menu, and then down here, you know, pancakes, you know, pancakes, and, you know, maybe um, French toast. You know, it's laid out like this. And at the top it says, please indicate, please indicate, it, uh, it, please indicate what you want, something like that. Please indicate, <laughs> I don't know. It was worded where I interpreted to mean, Oh, okay. Well, I want scrambled eggs, and I, <laughs> I, want, I want three scrambled eggs. Okay? That makes sense. Doesn't it make sense? Makes sense to me. Pancakes? Oh, I'll take three pancakes, too. Okay? And then the drinks here, you know, I wanted apple juice. I got two apple juices and two chocolate milks. And then maple syrup. I had maple syrup checked here, too. Just want one maple syrup, because how many maple syrups can you eat? So, really, I ordered... <laughs> I had I had two I ordered two apple juices, two chocolate milks, three scrambled eggs, and three pancakes, okay? I get a knock on my door the No, next it's morning. There's nothing to do with it. No, hold, it oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can say that in a second. So he comes to my door. I don't know if anyone's been on a cruise ship and they know where I'm going with this, but anybody would do this. And I don't know how anyone did not interpret the way I did. <laughs> so the guy comes to my room, he knocks on my door, and I open up, and he has, he has a cart of all, <laughs> of all this. With the covers. A place with the covers of all this food stacked up. I'm like, oh, okay. So he takes off of this huge, like, uh, cafeteria tray. And on the tray, there's six big plates all stacked up. So it's a plate with a cover, plate with a cover, plate with a cover. <laughs> he goes to hand it to me. I said, well, what's this? He goes, well, it's your order. And I thought, just shut up because I don't know what the hell's going on right now. So I said, okay, thanks. So he take the order. And uh, I put it down, and I said, do I have to sign anything? He goes, well, wait, this is yours, too. <laughs> and I turn around. He has, like, the same amount of plates. <laughs> the same amount of plates. <laughs> now, you know, if you're on a cruise ship, there's no place to put this stuff. So now I have, I have, I have food, this food all over the place. Meanwhile... To my left is Misty and Susanna. To my right is like, I, like the rest of the cruise. I, I know everybody in, in every single door all the way down. So now I'm kind of embarrassed. I can kind of hope no one comes outside. I, just, I, wanted, I wanted to get this food inside so bad. And just have him leave so quickly. Because everybody on the cruise, we knew we were all lined up together. So, what I realize is, is when you order three scrambled eggs, you're not ordering three scrambled eggs, you're ordering three meals of scrambled eggs. If you order three pancakes, you're not getting three pancakes, you're getting three orders of pancakes. So, I really ordered enough for six people in my cabin. In my cabin. So, I ate one plate of each. <laughs> I can't even come on. Oh my god. The newbies are like, what is going on? And they are gone. <laughs> so I had to stack everything up. And I wanted to get out of my room so no one would see me. <laughs> I stick it down the hallway. So there's stacks of plates. And the covers. And the cups. And the covers and other things. <laughs> There's no photos because I wanted to get rid of it so bad. Oh God, I should have taken a and nobody knew. No one in their 
right mind would have ever that. thought, oh my god, that came from one cabin. Well, but no. He knocked on my door first, and I was like, no, we didn't order any food. <laughs> And then later when we left, I was like, dang, that's a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of food. Like, even if you would have went to the buffet, you never even would have picked up that many scrambled eggs because you always nope. take more than you want to eat. Oh, my oh, God. Me. But, Ed, boy, there's a lot of people who ordered room service. So then the next day I ordered right, and I'm sure the guy was like, oh, he messed up. Oh, boy. <laughs> But I will take a picture of that menu and I will show you because I don't know how that doesn't happen all the time because of the way they word it. I'm telling you, it, it, <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. Oh my God, the way they word it really made it sound like you know. But the funny, I wish, I wish you would have, I wish I could have been tape recorded because when they brought it to me, I'm like, oh, thank you. And then when I turn around to go sign my form, and he's standing there with another. <laughs> With another tray and six more stacks of plates on it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Can you imagine, like, if the boat then would have chipped and been like, <laughs> the flat lady at, at 7032. Oh, <laughs> she has a boatload of food in her room all over the place. <laughs> Oh, oh, I couldn't get out fast enough. Oh my God! Oh, it was. It was I so. I seeing them all stacked on the hallway, and I was like, "Why do so many people not eat their breakfast?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like pancakes are just on plates. Exactly. Oh my God. Tracy said you should have put the plates outside Misty's room. <clears throat> On a side note, I kind of did a little bit. I did you, push them down a little bit. The hall I and did. <laughs> I did put them. Did you notice that? Because I swear to God, I did do that. Well, how could I not notice? There were like 17 pounds of plates. But then the next night, Susanna and I ordered um, French fries and oh god, what did we order? French fries and cookies. And put it put it and right I'm outside my door, yeah, right? Empty right outside of her door. Oh god. Terrible. Oh my God, it's too funny. I'm telling you so. So funny. Anyone who has not gone on a cruise, I just gave you a, 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 a what's it called? A public, uh, a public service announcement. A, right, how to order it. Chelsea, you should have thrown them overboard. <laughs> oh my God, I swear to God, it was your just. Your mom said you, that was too funny. Your mom no, I was so embarrassed. Up. I mean, you wouldn't, if you, I'm going to, tonight I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to post it on the page. <laughs> you will see what I saw. But I just thought I was ordering three eggs and three pancakes. Okay, next. Get the um, color that's. I, I, I want you to keep what you think is the lightest color out. So keep the lightest color out. So go to your next darkest color. Oh, boy. And now we're going to go. This is the one I just cut. Now I want this layer right here. I want that layer. So same thing. You're just going to cut this off. So it's going to look like Are this. <clears throat> oh, God, I can't stop. <sighs> I'm telling you, I don't know how more people don't get confused with that. Jenny Dar said, OMG, I'm crying. What an awesome way to end the week. Oh, it's, it, was, it was too funny. Well, Deborah Con 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 Mario says, thanks for making me laugh. I haven't laughed since my husband Joe passed away last week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's terrible. That is terrible. But I'm telling you, I mean, and if that would have happened to Justine, I mean, I don't think she would have been embarrassed. But when you have a fat person ordering <laughs> Ordering you six meals? <laughs> I'm sure, you know, little Pedro or whatever his name is, is like, God, these Americans really need to learn how to, how to not eat so much. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, these American women. And then Joan said, set some outside a few doors, knock and run. Oh, God, it was too funny. The best part, Ed Cooley, though, coming up. Boy, there's a lot of people ordering rooms. <laughs> Right. Oh, God. Okay, so inside. Oh, my God, I can't even see. Can you show me what you've cut off? Uh, yes. <clears throat> oh, boy. So now you're scaring me. Let me look at this. Yep, that's right. No, I just need to know for myself. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to keep that up there. Everyone look at that. Oh, boy. What is Jennifer saying right now? 
Are the paper packs that you use for these cards exclusive, or are they sold like in 12 by 12 sheets? I'm sure. looking specifically for the paper pack used in Blinging in the New Year 2024 card number two. Oh, I, you act like she would know what I... Right. I don't even know what card that was. <clears throat> if you email us, I could tell you kind of where it came from, at least give you a better, you know, idea. And then poor Sherry, Cherie, you know, she always goes on these cruises, God love her, and she always buys jewelry, which is fantastic. And at the end of um, the cruise, they uh, pick names, mm -hmm. and they give, you know, winners, <laughs> they give people who bought jewelry, you know, they randomly pick them, and they get all these prizes, but you have to be present. Well, they picked one name, and the person was there, and then they had four other names to pick. They pick Sherry's every single time. Oh. <clears throat> And she wasn't there, so she could have had like three more gifts. I would have been, if I was there, I would have been dying. I, I, would, I would have called her, although you had to be there, so I don't know if they would have honored there or not, but yeah, too bad. That's a bummer. It is a bummer. Okay, so these two that we just cut, we're going to black outline them, and then these two are going to be adhered together, okay? Black outline them and adhere together. What? These two, yes. Yes. Oh, boy. Peggy's husband, he went to go see the, uh, they have a veterans thing on the boat. And he went to that and he came back. We're like, hi, Bill, how was it? He was like, I, or we said, what'd they do? He was like, well, they thanked us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an hour of thank you. Hey. Someone got, we went to um, karaoke at night. And on the last day, some guy, what song was he even singing? And I don't like karaoke. I've never cared. In fact, I think this is weird. I have never karaoke a day in my life, which I don't think is weird. But now I found out that I'm the weird one because most people have karaoke in their lifetime. And I don't understand where or how that would happen. Um, but I guess it's a thing because everyone I was around kind of did. In fact, Bill wanted to karaoke, but he, they didn't have um, clearance, CCR or 38 Special. He was looking for someone specific. Um, but if you ever have not gone to adult karaoke, it is very funny because some of these guys really, I mean, they're up there thinking they're singing for the voice. <laughs> um, and it is kind of funny. But the one, the second guy came up and he, he's, what song do you sing? Do you guys remember? No. He was singing a song and then <clears throat> as the song was ending, he, you know, kept walking forward on the dance floor and then he, um, he really didn't, yeah. And then, um. After the song ended, by the time he kept walking on the dance floor, he was to his girlfriend, who actually, actually, which was kind of cool, um, videotaping him off, oh. on the phone because he was singing. <laughs> she was recording her own. Uh... So she, yeah, she was recording him singing, and at the end of the song, he was in front of her, and he said, well, there's no time like the present, and he got that on one knee, and the whole place just went crazy. And, of course, then he said, will you marry me? And she was a nervous wreck and screaming and crying and said, yes. <laughs> And then it was kind of cool because then somebody who didn't know how to sing came up after him and then called them two up and he said, I want to sing you your first song. Yep. Yeah. Really cool. It was really cool because he was a good singer. And so he made them date and make them. So they danced together while he sang that song, which was kind of cool. He serenaded them. Thank you. I'm looking for the term. He serenaded them. Yeah. So that was kind of fun. <clears throat> So again, these two are going to be adhered together. And then we're going to pop those up. We might as well just do that too. Why not? Why not? Sorry, my storytelling kind of put me to the side here, I think. <laughs> God, it's so funny. And I think that's really, I mean, it's, it's probably these other funny stories, but... We only had one person who was seasick, and i got to give her credit. Katie Walker came on the boat, and she knows she gets seasick, but she also is like Misty. She loves to bling everything. She gave it a good try. Oh, she, she was really so did. good. Uh, I mean, when she got on the boat, she, she knows she's seasick, but she thought, okay, well, we'll see. And a couple days she had to stay in her room, but she really was there and made every attempt. And I'm happy to say, oh, so then after the, the ship, you know, going to a 45 degree angle, um, so flat and then popped. Does everyone get that flat and then popped? 
okay? Flat and then popped. And yours may look different from mine. Every, it's going to look different from everybody's because it depends on what hue you got in the paper. It's going to look much different. Um, what did Elizabeth say? Anybody? My bell sang karaoke the other night. Yeah, see, I just think that's strange. Elizabeth, have you ever sang karaoke? I mean, I was definitely the odd man out. Like when I asked Misty and uh, Robbie, they're like, yeah, of course we sing karaoke. I can't imagine any time in my lifetime where I'd be like, yeah, I'll go up there and sing it. <laughs> I'm not saying a little liquored courage wasn't. Well, I'm sure, but still, I just, I don't know if I'd still do that. Oh, I would. No. I didn't that night because I was tired. But... You were really tired that night. Um, see, I have them. Here. The love. Yeah, I know, but here, oh, mine, mine are free. <laughs> um, what did Elizabeth say? Is she has she ever carried okay before? Um, she has said I have to be very, very drunk. Like I said, liquid courage. So she has. Yeah, God, she I need to make her really, really drunk. <laughs> um. So anyhow, so then we had the forty-five degree tilt of the boat, which is crazy. Then, was it the next night that, oh, so yeah, so that day we were in Cozumel, mm -hmm. and high, high winds. The winds were incredibly oh, high. Okay. So then, that night at 5 o'clock, the captain came on and said, which actually kind of, I'm glad he did it, but it actually worried me a little bit more. Captain came on and said, we will not be going to um, Costa Maya because the winds were too bad, and the, the ship was only rated at a, you know, a 90-knot ship. Elizabeth said, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> so I was kind of, I was happy that we didn't go out, but I was actually very nervous then too because I'm thinking, oh my God, this ship is really going to flip. So we missed the second port. But the good thing, at least with us, is that a lot of people in our crafting class, I'm going to say everybody, really, they oh, they didn't get off, or if they did, they only got it off for half a day, so they all came to the craft, cra yeah, they all came to the classroom. So instead of people going home with unfinished projects, I think the goal was for them to only finish one, wasn't it? That really, in the, a lot of time, one, maybe two? Two, maybe three, I think, if you don't count that very first little one. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't count that one. That was five seconds. Um, but because we were stuck at port, most people came to the classroom, and because of that, a lot of people finished all their class or all their stuff from beginning to end. So we had a lot of people having finished product projects. Which is great oh, because they were so good. Too. Oh, they're oh. awesome! You did a good job. They were mm -hmm. they were just awesome. The colors were good. The ideas were good. It was it was good. Yeah, it was good. Boop, boop. Oh God, I have a headache now from laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's funny. a headache from laughing so hard. Oh, so funny. A lot of people are saying there's not enough alcohol in the world to make them sing. Yeah, I we seriously like watching it. Yeah, watching it's fun, but I would not go up there. I just there's no way. Okay, so this guy we're gonna go a layer in, and this is where I'm missing a piece. But honestly, it is not gonna matter. And even if I told you that we were missing a piece, or if I didn't tell you, you may not even have seen it. Okay, so this time we're going to go a layer in. Well done. I think we're frozen. Are we? I don't show frozen here. It says slow, slow connection. Now it says I'm back on. <clears throat> Elizabeth is asking how many jewels on the mouse. You know, I don't know if we know that offhand, but we used over... 4,436 overall. Total. Yeah. Great. Total for all the project projects, 4,446. I know we're frozen, but we're not frozen now. And you go, you guys don't have to tell us when we freeze. We can tell. But just stay with us because it will come back. Okay, so this guy is going to be this guy right here. 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 So really, those flowers are what you're going to cut on. Let me cut one more loop and I'll... Okay. So everyone look up. That's what I want you to cut. 
I don't know if that'll help you or not. So I want you to cut to that inside flower. Can you see it or no, Craig? Okay. Yes, yeah, so it was a really, it was a great time. And I have a feeling that if we could pull this off and book this again next year around the same time, because we really want to butt it up to the Stamp Fest um, show, because then that puts us down here for two reasons, which is kind of fun. What'd you do? I cut off a little too much. Um, do you want a piece of score tape? I don't have tape. You want score tape? Score tape will do it. Just don't do it off the back. Here you go. What else happened? Entertainment was, eh, it was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Food, yeah, it was okay. I, I don't know if cruise ships just, I don't know, I'm just not impressed with the food anymore. Well, I'd say anymore. I've, I've never been impressed with the, with the cruise ship's food. Bill woke up, though, didn't he, Pegs? Yeah, he woke up. He was trying to hold on. He was going to roll over me. <laughs> <laughs> he literally did. He had to hold on to something. He had to hold on to the bottom of the bed so he wouldn't roll over. Are you kidding me? No. Nope. And now this is the first time he's been on a cruise. Like, what was his response to this? <laughs> I don't know. And why didn't he wake you up? Right. Why didn't he wake me up? You know what? I, I know why I didn't wake Suzanne up. I was more worried about dying. That's just all there is to it. Yeah, I know, but I I think like it. I would if I would I would have had that whole floor would have been up. I would have been packing on doors. Right. I mean. Right. Uh, yeah. I know. I guess I was shocked that you did not. Oh, it's because I was sleeping. Which is good. But oh, I, and I do. I can. I best can thing ever. Everybody, I can attest. Jennifer. Yes. Relaxed. I saw her with my own two eyeballs. Oh my God. She relaxed. I did for twenty minutes of the pool. I fell asleep. <laughs> I sure did. But I can attest, it happened. It, it did. It happened. She relaxed. She wasn't working. I wasn't. She relaxed. Well, we relaxed today, too. We went on a little toot and saw... Oh, that was so much fun. It was. I would show... Oh. If you could give up... The, if you want to... Oh, no, you can't do the thing. Okay, if you want to show me a, a good video, I could show them. You know, get to the good part. Yeah, yeah. So, because we only have one of these, we're going to outline this, and we're going to pop this right up, Okay. So this is going to be a single one and then popped up. Oh, my God. I have to take a headache from laughing. So art headache. <laughs> that was too funny. I will never forget that story. And Vicky Silva, oh, I know you would have done that. I, I was on the duck boat with you. <laughs> and then, of course, I start laughing again because it's like, yeah, you're absolutely right. You were. Or I was running everyone to hit the deck because we were stuck in two feet of water. <laughs> Even if the duck boat would have flipped, it wouldn't have flipped in two feet of water. I don't know. I just get I get very claustrophobic. -y. Not good. Oh, it was too funny. It was hysterical. Seriously. Uh, I know it really was. We had a good time. It was we had a good great group of people. Great group of people. Um, it was just a lot of fun, as they all are. I was afraid to drop my phone off the back of the boat. I know. So I just shoved it in my pocket. Okay, we're going to pop this baby up. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Okay, good. So... We went on, like I said, little two in the Clearwater Beach because we had all afternoon. Because, again, it was a small setup. We only have a ton by 30. So we all worked together as a team. Peggy and I taught. And then, well, Peggy and then Bill and Misty and Robbie put the booth together, which was great. Mostly Misty and Robbie. Mostly Misty and Robbie. So that triangle, when you hit it. Okay. So any, everyone look up. if you. So we went on little toot. And here is, I mean, I can't even tell you how. Whoops. I can't even tell you. Um. How lucky we were, because I've been on Little Two a lot. And look at this, guys. This was like nonstop, would you say what, 
30 minutes? 45. We yeah. were out there for an hour, and it was just constant. Look at this. It was just cr I mean, look at how close. They were so close. They look like they're close. I'm telling you, they look like they're close. At one point, I swear, <laughs> I felt <Yeah>. like... like <laughs> at one point, I thought someone jumped into the boat because I got wet. There's more coming, right? Yeah, there's some on that side. It was it was insane. They were there. Yeah, it was, and you, you saw them perfectly. Three passes. Three passes. They were there the whole time. And it wasn't like they were like you know just skimming the water. I mean, they were jumping out of the. I mean, look at that. They were jumping out of the water, and you could see them crystal clear. It was crazy. Can you guys see that? No, oh, sorry, I took oh. my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was nuts. It was it was nonstop. It was it was it was a we really there, really good tour. We were out in the Gulf for probably forty five minutes, and there may have been a minute where, where there wasn't. Yeah, there wasn't. I agree. They did a really good job. I would recommend them to anybody. And they worked in conjunction with another. Oh, and that's yeah, that was really cool. This impressed me. They, um, you know, because those they like to come up in the waves. So when we got out there, there was two other boats out there. So our boat and the two other boats, they just, we literally drove straight. And, mm -hmm. and they're knocking up all those waves. And I think that's why we had so many because. Because they were wake surfing. Yeah, wake all three of those boats were right there just pulling them up. It was pretty cool. It was actually really cool. Okay, so are we, are we on? Did we pop that last layer? We did. Okay. I'm a little bit behind. What, what city are you in now? We are, we're right now we're in Tampa. Um, no, we're not in Tampa. I take that back. Right now we're in Clearwater, but today we drove over to Clearwater Beach. And we had a, a delicious dinner. Oh, so good. Pound and a half of crab legs I had. What did you have, Misty? I had the coconut shrimp. Coconut shrimp, which is, like again, it. I would have eaten that too if... We weren't have a table of people because I really eat, eat a lot of seafood. Pegs, you had? I had the scallops. Scallops. Oh, it was so really good. good. Oh, my gosh. It was really good. Oh, is that the Ashley? Is at, we, had somebody win a, we had somebody win some money mm -hmm. on our cruise. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Miss Ashley had a payout. Six, she hit for sixteen or $1,700. It was $1,600. Yeah. I was very excited for her. Very excited. Um, Elizabeth said, I've been on a ship that they had to empty the pool because the water was sloshing out like tidal waves. But oh, they, that they was empty. The yeah, they the closed pool. the pool because yeah. of it. Yeah, they had no water. And the next day when we were at port, yeah, the, it, the water was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they, they, we had no water in that pool. <laughs> okay, so now we have four pieces. This is how I want you to line this up. I want you to line up, and again, based on the colors that you have, line up darkest to lightest. Darkest to lightest. And you're going to see different hues. But darkest to lightest in your pile, okay? Darkest to lightest, and then you're going to take your darkest one next. So the orangey one? Yep, Sweet. that would be darkest. Yep. Darkest to lightest. Whatever in your pile, you see darkest to lightest. What? Was it your blink, Connie? Yeah. Oh, I, I want to put mad props out to Miss Peggy. She figured finished every project on the She did, and she normally doesn't. I know, it's crazy. Shocker. Awesome sauce. Mm hmm. Good job, picture. Okay. May I go on? So this piece is just exactly where I photocopied to, right here, just like this. And if you're doing different layers than me, it's it's okay. It's okay because it doesn't matter. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> So quiet. Holy moly. I know. It gets quiet every now and then. All you can hear is the dripping of the paper mm -hmm. dots off. One of my favorite sounds ever. My favorite is when you're sorting or counting jewels. Oh, that's... That sh sound sh is my favorite. Yep. Uh -huh. It's very soothing. <laughs> it is. 
ASMR for crafty people. And don't ask me what ASMR stands for. I don't know. What is it? I don't even know what it it's is. It's just the, the repetitive sound of oh, something. Oh, got it. Got it. Some people find it soothing. <laughs> Lots of different things happen on the ship. Like when you shower, which is kind of like showering in a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> and anybody who has, you know, a little fluff on them. Feel a little tight squeezed. Well, the bathroom is completely enclosed for a reason. <laughs> you turn around and accidentally bump the shower head, and it flies all over the place, and water sprays as though you were in the, stuck in the middle of a lawn sprinkler. Oh, boy. It, it, it just, it's, there's more than one drain in the bathroom, which cracked me up. It really wasn't a way to shave your legs, so if anybody did it in that little teeny tiny shower. You shower, shaved your legs in there? No, because I couldn't. Uh, okay. There was no way that was happening. Okay, so I'm going to keep that here. Okay, the next one, take your next, the next one that you deem is dark. Is everyone still following along with me? Most of us are good for Good, I love it. Any. Actually, did say 1600. Jill Chapman took a video of the pool water sloshing around. Ashley went to the bank today, so that's good. Who went to the bank today? Ashley. Oh, oh she did? Yes. Is that what she said? Yes. Went to the bank today. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, Seagulls talking about Norwegian Cruise Line. Spring Bling is just over two months away. Yeah, and Spring Bling right now is sold out. Yeah. We have a waiting list right now. That's crazy. That's fantastic. Uh, hold on. Am I doing this wrong? Confusing myself. I need that. Yes. Okay. So I want you just to cut off those back roses. Do they look like roses to you? If I say roses, do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. dark. You're just cutting off those rose looking ones. Okay. I think I'm still in frame. No, I can still see you. Good. Let me see what else. Is it only the roses that we're cutting off? The yes. Fire? Yes. It was a smaller ship. Actually, it was really small. Well, the. Night, we headed out of Cozumel to head home. Mm -hmm. I went out on my balcony, mm -hmm. and it is pitch. Oh, black. is it? Isn't it amazing how dark it is? I freak myself out. I'm yeah, not it's gonna lie, seriously. It's, so it's dark. just dark. It's dark. Yeah, it, it is what dark is. It, yes, it's a vacuum. It I is. don't know how else to say it. You could see some stars, and that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a problem with heights, but looking down the seven flights, the seven floors of the ship to the waves and they were still a little crazy yeah oh no that was bad that night um, yeah when we headed home cool. that's the night that we stayed there because of the winds mm -hmm. and it was very bad actually i i and at one point i thought i was going to get sick it, it was really really rocky i will tell you that those patches were a saving grace oh, by all means absolutely i never felt ill mm -hmm. um except when i had a little too many things to eat at the buffet that's when we felt felt. Well, That's when I felt sick to my stomach. I can't even talk. Okay, these two that we just cut, those are going to be black outlined and adhered flat together. But it kind of felt like you know what happens on a cruise ship stays on a cruise ship. Well, not 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 unless it goes on the fancy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's fine. There are seven kinds of dessert. Take them all. It's oh, fine. absolutely. Um, Calories yeah. don't count. It's like camping. Six of those desserts may not have been all that great, but, you know, you were only taking a bite of them anyway, so. <laughs> oh, my God. Sometimes there were weird combinations like chocolate pear tart. I don't know why that was a thing. Mm -hmm. um, That's because the night before the ship smushed them all together. <laughs> they was, all fell together. There was a, a carrot and pound cake. I don't know that carrots go in pound cake. But was it delicious? I don't know. It didn't taste it. <laughs> there was 
some interesting things. The line at the ice cream thing was always long, though. Yep, never got ice cream. It was always long. And now all of a sudden I want ice cream. You got ice cream twice? Yep. Soft serve. Oh, please, I got ice cream every day. You the did? Day. When did you get ice cream? At lunch. Oh, I never went to lunch. That was why. Every, um, the, my favorite turned out to be the vanilla ice cream with the coconut ranger cookies. Those were good. Those were very good. Hmm. I'll take that. Perfect. I'm just going to do it all. Do it all. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Holly Eaker's in, the, uh, in a hotel waiting for her cruise tomorrow. Oh, Holly, you got to... Do you know what? Then don't list, don't watch the beginning of our. Uh, <laughs> please don't watch the beginning of this video. You may not get on the cruise. <laughs> or it may be an educational cruise if you want to order room service to your room. <laughs> what not to do? Oh, God. It's so funny. Oh, come on. That's hysterical. Oh. That is. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Why can't I find this flower? Well, I feel like. Um, embarrassing or not, it was still. Oh, I'm not embarrassed by it. I know, but it's it's kind of like well, certainly like, educational. Yes, for sure, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, I gotta tell you, our group coordinator, oh, Dragos. Oh. First of all, he was cute. He was very cute. Yeah, and he was the nicest. I'm gonna say he's probably one of the nicest anybody I, I've ever worked with on a cruise. Absolutely. He was spectacular. And then once this is together, guys, we're going to pop this. Yeah, he was unbelievably wonderful. Very accommodating, very kind. Yep, yep. We did meet the um, person in charge of what we call it, F&D. Mm -hmm. Met that officer, and then we met the housekeeping officer. Who acted all nice in front of us, but didn't follow up on their premise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if you don't know, because we didn't, F&D stands for food and beverage. Mm-hmm. We thought he was just upset at something. During the um, the time that the cruise ship, well, let's just call a spade a spade. The time the cruise ship almost sank, um, <laughs> Robbie's mug was wrapped still and was in our classroom. In the classroom, in our classroom, um, two tables came down, and Drago's. I know I'm saying his name wrong, but it was we just called him Drago's because that was easier. Um, and he said that was fine. Um, Drago's had to put the table back up and we think Robbie's cup rolled someplace so she didn't have her cup like her souvenir cup so when we met this food and beverage these the, the people who are in charge of it were like oh we told him the story how the table fell down and Robbie lost her cup and you know not like we are jonesing for a cup but I said can't you give us another cup and he goes oh took down the room up he goes I'll make sure you have another cup there to buy tomorrow at the end of the night nothing nothing it Forget. never showed up so the food and beverage guy was a dud. They did act like that they were like together though, weren't they? They act did. Yeah, they really acted like they could have been sleeping together. Yeah, there was a little. There was a little too much. Uh, yeah. There. yeah, there was, wasn't there? Yes. Yeah, it seemed like they were. Well, and when he introduced, he was talking about this beautiful woman here. With yeah, he did say that. Like, right. What really say about? Yeah, Bill's, no. like, Peggy's husband's never introduced me as, you know, yeah. this is beautiful Jennifer. Right. Yeah. Although I guess I did that. I was like, this is my beautiful friend Peggy. Look what she did. Yeah, there was just something. It was just a little. Yeah, like, it was a little too friendly. A little too friendly, mm -hmm. exactly. Which is fine. We don't care who they sleep with. No, it's not my business. But don't lie and say you're going to give us a cup and you're not going to, you know, give us a cup, darn it. We had wonderful staff, our wait staff in the dining room danced for us. See, I think that part's silly. It's silly, but it was cute. First, although I shouldn't say that, our waiter seemed to magically be extremely busy every time the other guys had to dance. Sure. <laughs> he did not dance as well. Hey, but any of our fansters that were on that ship, I have a picture of me and Mr. Washy Washy from the uh, Washy Washy from the Windjammer. They stood at the door and had you put on hand sanitizer. They did. Okay, your next lowest one is going to be 
God, I'm confusing myself right now. Hmm? You're cutting out. Hold on, let me get it first. Oh, it's, it's easy. Did you just throw in your towel peg? You're not. You're not. You're not. Make those two flat together. Look at Misty encouraging, still teaching. You're good, babe. Um, blue dots. So does everyone see what they're cutting here? Let me do this. You don't have the little uh, coin purse with you, do you, by chance? I don't have anything with me. Okay. Sorry. No, that w someone said we forgot to show the coin purse, and we did. Why does Terry Ponzi want you to look at the center, Jennifer? I don't know. Oh, Terry, are you talking about the jewel? Just tell me yes or no if you're talking about the jewel. It's just, okay, that makes sense. Tell me if Terry Ponzi is talking about the jewel. No, to line things up, she says. Oh, she's giving me some pointers then. Yeah, she is. That Terry Conti. And I'm going to say that I'm very impressed with everybody who did not email me, and I did not have one email that said, I don't have the center jewel because you don't. Here, Peg, you can take that and look at that. So this is the deal with a center jewel, and I don't know why I do this stuff to myself, but I do. So nobody has this center jewel, because this is a big honking jewel. Now don't get sad, just listen to me. Nobody has this big honking jewel. So number one, we do have these for sale, but this is a discontinued item, and I don't have enough of these, and I don't have a, and I couldn't go out and buy more of these. And I loved that you need something, uh, you need a big honker there. It has to be big because it has to fill up that whole center. So what I did is I found a like jewel like that, but they weren't going to be in on time. So we sent all the kits out, and now we owe you a center. So the people who have automatic bill and ship, you're going to get them in the next package. Everybody else is probably going to get their shipped separately. But you're going to get your, your, your center shipped separately. Um... Because of that, and this is a little caveat to that, this is kind of cool, because you have to wait for this, instead of one, we're sending you two. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have two that you can do whatever you want with, but um, it's going to be this big. It's a little, shaped a little bit differently, but it's, it looks and fits there beautifully. So instead of one, you're going to be getting two. So those all Mac ship people, they're going to get them all Macly, and then you other people who don't have all Mac ship, we'll figure out how we're going to do it. We're probably just going to end up mailing it to you. Okay, so the last piece is going to be this one right here. Hand in me, Carlin said, Booyah, thank you. Welcome. Jill Chapman asked, What size is that center jewel? Jill, I think you have it. Is that a 10 millimeter or 14 millimeter? Did I not write that down? I didn't write that down, did I? I surely didn't. Um, I know I had them at Spring Bling, and I think you bought them there. I don't know what size that center is offhand. Next week, when we get back in the office, I'll tell you what that is. Because we do have the packets on sale. I just didn't have enough for our card kits. Because believe it or not, we're still selling a lot of them. Okay, now this is funny. We're in a classroom setting right now. Do you guys feel for a hot second like we're on the cruise? Yes. Okay. Oh, I... Don't you feel like you're on the cruise right now? I do too. I don't have my land legs back. Everything feels like Yeah. Cruise. But no, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to call my mom after this to see if she'd like my breakfast story. And then I'm thinking, oh, I can't because we're on the cruise. And then I'm thinking, oh, no, I can't because we're not on the cruise. <laughs> But I also can't go get a chocolate or a coconut ranger cookie. I know. I want chocolate so bad right now. I think we should go get the keys from Bill and go to Basket and Robbins. <laughs> oh, seriously. I don't know how I feel. I know. We could end the video right now, though. <laughs> Priorities. Remember, I'm the keeper of the, of the master of the video. 
I could actually turn off and say, oops, sorry, we lost connection. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're over basket and Robin slurping down ice creams. <laughs> Double scoop on a sugar cone, please. As long as Peggy doesn't decide to wear hers, <sighs> fine. We did get ice cream yesterday. In all fairness, Peggy did have it all over her shirt, which oh, I had to laugh Lord. because it was very, very much like what I do. But in fairness, the the 16-year-old, the yeah, gave her a cone and literally right. cracked the cone all the way down the side and then looked at Peggy and said, is this okay? Is this okay? And of course Peggy said, yeah, that's fine. Just give me a bowl too. It's not, once you crack a cone, that's it. It's useless. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But, I mean, Kat, yeah. she was completely committed to making an absolute mess, and she did. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> if you're going to go, go all the way. Now, having right. said that, I dribbled my... Dessert this morning, right down the or this afternoon. What? Did you? What dessert? This evening, my what key lime pie. Oh. That bike just went and yes, I did see it. And I watched that. Thing. I watched it from the drop to the hit, hit, hit. I did. It popped down my chest, onto yep. my legs, all the bumps. My yep. Everywhere. It hit okay. all the bumps. <laughs> I did. I saw it from beginning. To, no, I didn't see the end. And darn it, I just put a black line through there. Oh my god, I just did it twice. <laughs> Stop it. Son of a. Biscuits. You want to recut? Actually, I am very lucky because I put them in lines where I'm going to cut with the next layer. Both of them. Huh? Boy, if that's not luck. Why are you cutting those off? Oh, you're covering it. Never mind. Yep. Don't mind me. Peg, you're going to give me yours? She was. Why? Because you want to go to bed? That's Peggy. I said, you can owe me a piece. I could, no, you want to finish this. Peggy, you are the master at finishing things right now. Peggy never finishes things. Not because, you know, well, because she just doesn't. Well, I, but she never at the time. No, but it usually takes me to Right. But, uh, you know, I wonder how excited I am that you finished your projects. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I don't know when I would have finished them. It would have been spring bling. Mm hmm. Because you already had things lined up for spring bling. Yeah, you do. How are you going to finish them? That is true. Are these flat together? Um, no. Okay. I want, and I realize I probably should have done that. I want, no, I want flat and then popped. Okay. Flat and then popped. Oh, my God, was Jackie Davis on when I told the, uh, the breakfast story? I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen her coming. Then I'm going to say no because she would love that story. <gasps> uh oh. What's wrong? It worked two seconds ago. I know. That's going to suck. Because I don't think I have an extra one. And we have, we, we do, we have, the, Robbie's borrowed one. We do? Robbie's blinged one. Oh, but then we'll use that. And actually, you know what? This is at the end. So we will use that. That's, it's at the end. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. I'll repay you one. Oh, yeah, this is filled up. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, Robbie, I'll give you a new, um, you know where to find me. I'll give you a new cartridge, Robbie. I'm going to show people for those who want to bling themselves. I hope she's asleep too. This is how you start this, but I'm not going to show you how to finish it. <gasps> Am I still on? Yes. Yeah, I'm still okay. Here. Good. See you. Okay. Flat and then popped. I'm going to do that outside real quick, just in case we happen to lose you. Uh, Mom said, did you get my message? Don't call. I'm going to bed at 10, 10 hours tomorrow. Your story was too funny. No, I, I didn't get the message, but okay. I don't think she wants you to call her tonight. She doesn't. Okay, so flat, and then this one's popped. Oh, super cute. Isn't it fun? It's super cute. It is super cute. Now, if you guys like this, seriously, we can make one Fanster Friday. What you need, Peg? We can make one Fanster Friday where we make, like, you know, like kind of like all the seasons. That'd be cute. I think so too, but I, I I don't know if you'd want that or not. It just seems like, huh? 
Oh, and I, I'm sweating with the sweatshirt on. It's terrible. Kim Soup Sugar said yes, please. Um, Kathy Flat says, whatever I don't finish during class time, I finish on Saturday. It's usually just gems. Tracy um, Hemming Letwin said, I bet you can get a refill at the booth tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Trace. Josh Bonnet says yes. Helen Solomon said that'd be cool. That's good. That'd be cool. All the seasons, like that idea. Yes, yes. You were awesome. I, we're getting thumbs up. I think oh, I was going to put that in there. Okay, that's good. I don't know how much. I'm black on here. Not black. I'm dark on here. I wonder if um, no one doesn't have a uh, Samsung charging.